Tamo, da, 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 da. 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 Îl voi, ascult... Taci tu puțin. îl voi asculta pe Stanley, mă voi duce unde va spune, am încercat celelalte opțiuni. Doors, nu este nimeni aici. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. A putem să mă duc și acolo jos. Ai altă decizie pe care putem să o iau. Dar nu, nu mai. Am zis că nu mai. Mă duc unde mi-i zice și gata. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Ia să mai țin minte numărul. Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible. He didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Born. Um. Hi. Hi, la fabrica de de controlul minților. Oare ce o să se întâmple acolo? Acum mă întreb ce se întâmplă dacă o luam pe scările alea în jos. Probabil că puteam să evadez pe acolo. Aoleu, cu zgomotele astea. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. O să închidă ușile astea în urma mea. Vezi ce dramatic o să se închidă în urma mea. Bă, cred că știu ce e. Voi vedeți ce e înăuntru acolo? E birou meu? Nu. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. No, no, it's What horrible no. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Da. Did he have the strength to find out? Poi? Poi ce e pe ele? Cum aflu? E al birou. Mă așteptam ca înăuntru să fie biroul meu de unde am plecat, ca și cum n-am cum să evadez din munca asta. Camere. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This is the mind control facility. Corporația. E ce vrea să zică. Cred, nu știu. Bun, și acum că știu astea, că am fost controlat mental atâția ani, ar trebui să mă arunc de aici sau... Uite pe aici, poate în cap așa, poate pe jos. Nu, și ce fac acum? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Sooner familiar? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't no. accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? What? 
mă refer la mine. Cred că asta încearcă și jocul să, să te facă să te gândești. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation, controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Voi distruge eu asta? Și cum mă rog voi distruge eu asta? Apăsând butonul ăsta mare și roșu? De ce ar exista un buton mare și roșu pentru autodistrugere? Asta nu avea niciun sens. Da, mă rog. Da, ce că nu pot să-l apăs. Mamă, ce, ce e pe aici? Nu văd nimic. Aoleu, sper că asta nu e vreun puzzle ceva. Mind control status offline. Ce se întâmplă când apăs ăla? Rămâne tot offline. Dar ce se întâmplă când apăs ăla? Offline. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Am stat, uh, nu, am, nu am dat în film, am stat și m-am umblat, m-am învârtit 20 de minute în camera aia până am realizat că trebuia să merg în altă parte. Dar, să revenim la ce e important, Mind controls idle, awaiting input. Zice că să o închid. System power on, off. Stanley, e momentul să se faci datoria. Shut it down. rising chill of uncertainty was it over yes he had won he had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else's command freedom was mere moments away what and yet even as the immense door slowly opened stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? No. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Exactly. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. What? 
am revenit înapoi de unde am plecat. A fost un discurs drăguț, nu știu ce, am ieșit afară ca și cum asta ar fi fost mare realizare, wow, am ieșit afară. Asta cred cre- cre- că tot vrea să insiste, să insinueze cumva că ar trebui să mai ies din casă. Eu sunt de acord cu el, dar de unde știe? Nu mă cunoaște. S-o fi terminat. Nu cred că s-a terminat. All of his co-workers were gone. E ce aș chestie? Stan a decis să mergă la meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, hello. Exact aceeași situație? Uh-huh. Și eu ce să fac acum oare? Nu știu ce se întâmplă. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Dacă crezi că ar trebui să intru pe ușă în ușă de, de pe ușa din stânga, lasă un comentariu dacă crezi și vom reveni episodul viitor și nu, no, nu, no, nu, no, am să decid eu acum. Mă să văd dacă scrie tot Mind Control Facility. Sau nu, mă duc jos pe scări. Yeah, there was not a single no. person here either. Uh... Oh, no, oh, no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. Chema. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> da, mă, hai că mă duc, ho. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Să mă duc aici? Nu, hai înapoi la birou șefului. Hai la birou. Hai să fac aceeași chestie. Vreau să văd ce se întâmplă. Ok, I think we all know the drill by now. Bla, bla, bla. Drop secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Ah, dar nici nu trebuie să... e deja deschis, nici nu trebuie să mai apăs acolo nimic. Ok. Ne ducem jos, Mind Control Facility. Ce-o, ce-o fi acolo acum? Da, nu se întâmplă fix aceeași chestie. Taci puțin! Fix același lucru se întâmplă, nu. Trebuie să fac alte decizii pe care nu le-am făcut prima oară. E frumos, să e un mesaj frumos și dacă ăla este finalul este foarte fain. Dar hai să explorăm puțin lumea asta, să vedem The end is never the end, iarăși zice Să vedem ce, ce altceva e, da? Deci hai să facem alte decizii Perhaps Dar cum m-am rătăcit? Stai A, Unde sunt? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it huh. didn't make us when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Da, mă, da, hai că intru pe stânga. Doar că Yet there was not a single person here either. Da, Feeling da, da, da. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, <laughs> hoping he might <laughs> find an answer there. Au bătut în cuie ușa, mă, să nu mă mai duc Coming acolo. Staircase, Stanley nu, walked mă upstairs to his boss's office. Nu, nu mă mai duc acolo, mă duc jos. Mă interesează ce zici. Hai să vedem ce e aici jos. În primul rând aici, e o lumină. Sub scări aici nu e nimic. Bun. Hai în camera asta cu pricinea. But Stanley just couldn't do it. No. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. No, and in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he 
thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? Probably None of it made any logical sense. Probably and as Stanley mm. pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! I am. This is all a dream. Don't this. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt. He finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the sky. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. Wow. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. The machine How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. It is that. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Master Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. He can come zburat, my now, the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the yeah. voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How would the voice explain all that? Evident. This Who voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. 
It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. <laughs> the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Thank you.